Okay, um, good morning everyone. I hope that you are all good and thank you for joining um, today's stand up. I am just going to go down the list of people who are here and I hope, but I hope that more people will volunteer to speak um, so that I don't have to go down the list, but I will. Um, so I'll just wait for two minutes for someone to put up their hand and volunteer and then if not, I'll go down this. Okay, Binyam, good morning. Good morning, Kerry and everyone. Uh, so to give you an update, since uh, Web3 is a whole new technology, I think uh, for all of us, uh, I did the same thing probably everyone else was doing last night, which is getting familiarized myself with it. I intend to start uh, uh, building some things, some uh, prototype to test my ideas and if they work, no, that's good. And if they are not, if they don't, I will just get back to uh, doing some more researches. So that's where I stand right now. Currently, there are no blockers. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Martin. Good morning. Go ahead. All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, so yesterday I've been just uh, going through uh, the the Algorand uh, documentation so that I could be able to familiarize myself with the Algorand uh, uh, the sandbox and also the Python SDK. And then there's another that is called the PyTeal. Yeah, so those are the ones which I've been working on, like uh, just doing simple uh, iterations, like uh, creating accounts and such types of things, uh, mm -hmm. just to get a feel and just to know how it actually works. So uh, it's been uh, yeah an interesting experience, and I'm also looking to uh, integrate it with the front end now, uh, at, at least to start looking at also the that other part which was uh, I was seeing in the documentation called Rich which is a uh, front end for the for developing D apps. I've never interacted with it, so I'll try and check it out today. It's a JavaScript library. Then uh, I also get to have the feel of it as uh, I continue preparing for the interim report that is going to be on Wednesday. Yeah, that's uh, my update for now. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Martin. Um, okay. Abel, good morning. Oh, okay. Sorry, Abel. Daisy has her hand up, but after Daisy, Abel, please update us. Go ahead, Daisy. Um, thank you, Kari. Good morning, everyone. Um, so yesterday I was able to check and to look through um the task for this week and just to understand it. Also got time to look through the algorithm documentation and uh, just look at tutorials on how to go about the same. I'm currently facing a blocker that's been raised by Michael when trying to set up, a, when trying to start up a sandbox. Yes, um, it says that there's two nodes that can't, they're not running, so that's um, held me back for a bit. But I've also just been able to explore the commands further to see how to generate accounts, wallets, um, Yes, yeah, so I'm hopeful to be able to meet tomorrow's timeline uh, because also researching is helping me work on tomorrow's submissions as well. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you. Great. Um, Abel, please share and then remit. You've got your hand up, so after Abel. Okay, hello. Hello, Kerry. Hi there. Okay. Uh, I was uh, related to the project. I was reading uh, related blog posts and trying to understand the concept behind it. And uh, I tried to build the client side interface yesterday night. Uh, and also I tried to build a wallet, uh, which is related to uh, the project. And uh, I think that's what I have. 
Okay. Um, and you aren't facing any challenges? Yeah, yes, not yet. Not okay. Yet. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. Uh, Remit, please go ahead. And then Yedidia and then Gazan. Good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday, I tried to understand the whole general idea of Web3 blockchain. Uh, every keyword there is there. And today, I started try to run the sandbox. I got the, uh, some blocker there because it still doesn't work for me. So uh, I'm working on that right now. Remit, sorry, it's Aaron. I just wanted to ask you. So you said you wanted to understand all the different ideas. So how's it going? How's your understanding? It's going well, just theory. I just wanted to see it on practice. I feel like that's the only way to completely understand the whole thing. I just uh, read some theories, some videos. I don't understand the whole idea of blockchain, but uh, I still need uh, some practical uh, practice to say I fully understand it. Are there any ideas that you're finding especially weird? No. I mean, the idea is great. I just, uh, it's just hard for me to visualize it because I still haven't seen it in practice. That's what uh, I'm having a hard time in. Just I have to visualize how it works on practice. That's what, uh, that's what I'm hoping for to get. Great. Okay, no, that's good. If, I, if you feel uh, comfortable conceptually, that's uh, very important because it seems to be, as there's not a huge number of people with experience and at least understanding how these things work is very important. Um, I understand the idea. I just, it's pretty an interesting idea. I just want to grab the practice part. Thank you. Thank you, Remit. Um, Hididia and Ingazan, please go ahead. Okay, good morning, everyone. So just to give an update of yesterday, yesterday I've been uh, trying to uh, first outline the general workflow of my application. I've been trying to read documentation related to Algorand and the other blockchain technologies. Uh, it was a bit overwhelming, all the buzzwords and the keywords that I've been looking, but I'm trying to grasp the concept. Uh, and I think it's going well. I've, I've started also the implementation of the front end. Uh, but I have the quick question. Uh, it might be a dumb question, but uh, I still don't see the, I, I still don't exactly see the point of having a, a backend uh, on our uh, on our implementation because I think the algorand or the after impl or after pushing our implementation of the algorand to the main it, I think you cannot access it directly using the front end API and as well as all the other the wallet connections as well. If I'm not wrong, I have all all of the, all of them have a client side SDKs for JavaScript. And I'm not exactly sure why would why we would need to implement a backend for the current application. It's a good question, Edith. Actually, you know, a lot of these things are interchangeable, right? You know, all of your wallet connection, all of your access can you can use the JavaScript version of um, uh, the SDK. I'll, I'll go and say uh, SDK and then you can use it. So the GitHub link that I shared, for example, the example is doing that, right? The one mm -hmm. which is minting for um, NFT. But that basically means that you are going to be, you're not going to have a wrapper. So everything you're going to do will be extendability. Basically, you rely or you write a lot of code in, in the front end. Another way is that you actually wrap all of those APIs, like different things, and you would give another endpoint that basically does a lot more logic that is suitable for your for your application. For example, um, in the case of Ten Academy, that we might want to use it uh, within our Ten X system, right? So, and we want to really have a consistent, some kind of like 
one API endpoint to have different type of logic, uh, how it acts instead of just only always calling. Um, it's like a function, right? So you may have a class that would encapsulate all of those functions. And so you might ask the same thing, why would I do class? So, but in principle you could, um, but the separation would give you more flexibility, basically. So I think we are asking one, and most importantly, that most of your code will be in the backend we're using Python. So if you are not, you know, into JavaScript a lot, then doing only the front end just uh, with JavaScript and then doing everything in Python in the backend, which is, you know, good for Python is good for a uh, backend, would allow you to use the Python SDK and basically every single element uh, of logic that requires connection with the node or something can be done using Python. And then the other thing basically will, the front end will be just a simple kind of layout um, with JavaScript. So that is the, the main idea behind it. Uh, okay, uh, uh, one more question. Does the wallet of Algorand has an SDK for Python? Yeah, I think it's I've seen a few implementations. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, Gazan, please go ahead. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, just uh, uh, good morning, everyone. Just to give you some updates about my yesterday. Uh, I was trying to uh, see the concepts around it, uh, around Alcora, from their resource uh, next to the tutorial provided from Yabbar. And uh, I tried to set up my environment. My Docker was not able to uh, start correctly, and uh, I tried to fix that one. And uh, I see tutorials which is connected to the implementation of Algorand using, using uh, the web series. So uh, still now I didn't have, uh, I didn't get any uh, blockers. This is my stand for now. Okay, great. Thank you for sharing. Um, Abusalam, if you can speak, please share with us. Okay, uh, good morning all. Good morning. Okay, uh, so yesterday was, uh, all about exploring the uh, new concepts that we were tasked for. So everything was uh, new for me. So Web3, the blockchain, uh, and setting up the sandbox was uh, new for me. So uh, I found some blockers on setting up the uh, Algorand sandbox. I don't know. Uh, it was asked on the Slack group. Uh, I'm still figuring out to set up the uh, the sandbox so on my environment. So I think some other people also encountered that problem, and uh, I'm still figuring out how to solve them. Hopefully I can figure it out uh, before the midday. So I can continue with the other tasks. So that's my update. Okay, thank you. Um, Amon, good morning. If you can speak, please share with us and then Titus. Amon, can you speak? Okay, um, Titus, please go ahead. Okay, thank you for the opportunity. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so um, on my side, uh, <clears throat> yesterday uh, I spent uh, most of the time just taking a look at uh, <clears throat> the whole project. 
um just getting to understand uh, the how the algorand blockchain works so i just uh, took a preview on uh, our the presenters uh basis uh, presentation on a uh, blog on the blockchain just doing a recap on everything uh, getting to understand going through their website and their resources basically just getting to understand how everything works or at least most of how most of the things work uh, and also in the evening i had to acquire another machine because uh mine cannot uh, doesn't enable the vtx which is essential for dockerization so i just had to go get another one because this will be essential for for this week's project so yeah that's what i did in the evening and today i'll be more of uh, just interacting with the, the sandbox so yeah that's my plan for the day okay thank you um biruk good morning if you can speak please share with us good morning kerry and everyone um uh to get you an update on uh, on my on my site so yesterday i i tried to spend uh, most of the time trying to understand uh the task and how uh, the uh, related uh, things are actually uh, work in order to come up with uh, some kind of d app for um for the requested uh, task so i try to uh go through the uh, algorand documentation it, it's quite uh, good um and the python documentation also so uh by now uh, i I'm, I'm a little bit confused where to start uh so i'm i'm hopeful maybe the the, the tutorials that will that will help us to uh, understand where to start. Uh, so th that's where I stand. Thank you. Um, okay, thank you. Uh, Dagmawi, can you please share with us? And then can Amal Sharif share of the Dagmawi, please? Hello. Good morning. Okay, should I go on or wait for Amal? Uh, no, you can go on and then Amal off to you. Okay, uh, thank you, Kerry. So, speaking about my progress, yesterday uh, I was able uh, to go through most of the, the concepts around the challenge document and uh, also was able to look at various resources on the uh, on the documents given by by the trains on the Slack, so and uh, I was able to grasp the uh, grasp the big picture around the and the concept around the Web three and the uh, blockchains and uh, the like. So today, uh, I'm uh, I think I will be able to design my whole uh, project and how we how i'm about how i'm about to go through the project yeah that's it okay thank you so much um amal if you can speak please share with us quickly a brief update hi can you hear me Yes, I can hear you. How are you, Carrie? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So uh, yesterday, uh, after the session, the available session, I was able to go through some resources and get a glimpse of uh, the Web3 technology. Um, I was able to partly complete the task one. Um, I'm yet to complete uh, the others, the other tasks. Okay, thank you so much for sharing. Um, mm -hmm. You aren't facing any challenges then? Amal, you aren't facing any 
challenges? Okay, so far, so far, I'm I'm still in task one. So, uh, I'll I'll check the sandbox, then uh, we'll see from there. In case I have anything, I'll just uh, go to Slack. Okay. Some help. Thank you. Uh, hey, Nock, please go ahead and she. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. So, uh, since yesterday, I've been trying to understand some of the new concepts uh, that I found in the project. I've been using some exchange sites like for crypto exchanges. And they have some uh, educational material on the topics. I've also been going through the Algorand documentation. There is one uh, a, a sample project to get you started with uh, developing uh, with Python and I've been trying to work with that. Uh, um, the problem I'm having on that is well, I'm not, for some reason, when I launched the uh, sandbox, it doesn't work without sudo. And uh, when I test the test project that they have, it, uh, it, do, it doesn't pass some of the unit tests that it has. And uh, the, the project functionality doesn't also work after some steps. And I'm trying to see why that is and uh, understand why that is. Thank you. Okay, thank you for sharing. Um, Ken Wakura, good morning. Please share with us briefly any updates that you have. Good morning. So, <clears throat> so far, yesterday I went through the project, this week's project just trying to understand the deliverables expected. <clears throat> I've started working on the assignment that is due tomorrow and I hope to finish it on time. I had a challenge to installing Docker but I got my way around it. So far so good and I'm looking forward to the peer mentoring sessions. Okay. Um, thank you. Um, Laku, good morning. Can you please share with us any updates you have? Hello. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. So, uh, yesterday uh, I was checking um, different resources, uh, trying to get, uh, trying to grab the whole idea of uh, our project. So uh, these are a new terms, a new term same concept for me. So I had to spend a lot of time trying to understand the terms and concept. So I was just basically exploring all different resources just to have an idea on. So hopefully, yes, today I will start working and uh, practicing them. That's what I have. Thank you so much. Uh, Meron, good morning. Please share with us briefly how things are going with you. Okay. Can you hear me, Kir? I hope yes. you can hear me. Yeah. Can you hear so, me? basically, yesterday I've been trying to understand the task and I have been going through very um, the number of uh, videos and materials on uh, the internet trying to get to, uh, a basic understanding on web3 blockchain uh, so far it's been good uh, and i will be working on task one today as well so thank you thank you so much uh sam Rewit, good morning please share with us briefly what you've been doing any updates you have for us Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Uh, yesterday, I was trying to understand the concept of Web3 and blockchain. It's a new concept for me. Uh, still, I'm still trying to understand. I'm trying to find a good uh, document so to make a good concept from them. Still, I'm working on. Uh, understanding the concept. I hope I will finish and start 
Lepas itu deh. Oke. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, Samuel, please go ahead and share with us. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, for me, uh, I've tried to look all the keywords and the concepts behind blockchain and Web3. I think I'm getting familiarized. It's, it's a little bit hard, but I'm getting familiarized with uh, keywords and the concept, but still uh, I've tried to run my sandbox and it's not working. Uh, like I've posted on the Slack group, so I'm trying to solve it or respond, waiting for any response on the answers if any have solved it. That's it for me. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Salam, good morning. Please share with us your updates. Mm, okay, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, well, yesterday I was trying to understand the new concepts on Web3, uh, Algorand, and uh, related uh, subjects, and uh, I tried uh, to, run the, to run the Algorand sandbox, and uh, I faced an issue. It's already posted on Slack, and uh, I'm, 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 I'm currently trying uh, every option on it, and I'm also waiting if there is any response on how to run Algorand Sandbox on Windows successfully. Uh, that's my update so far. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Stella, good morning. Please share with us your updates. Good morning, Kari. Uh, good morning, everyone. Yesterday, I spent most of my time uh, going through the week six um, challenge material and also went through some resources on blockchain and the algorand. Um, I had a blocker with my docker on my machine. It was a lucky one, but I today have been able to sort that out. And um, now I can I can go through the tasks and manage um, hopefully today and meet the deadline tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Tadesa uh, Kebede, good morning. Um, please update us. Um, okay, sorry, Yababal, do you want to say something? Yeah, I think it's just one of uh, the issues it seems everybody is experiencing is Algorand Sandbox on Windows. I think maybe try a different, because I know that uh, for Anastasia, it was not working the usual bash terminal, while when she was using the git bash, it worked for her. So probably someone, you know, you guys get together and just it, it, it is different for everyone. I think that's the difference between um, maybe Linux and Windows. It's like your, your bash associated to something has different environments, it's different environments. And that makes it hard to really help everyone. So if you, I think all of you that who have a, that issue just may stay here and then just kind of coordinate the tests along that, you know, instead of just waiting too much. I think you shouldn't continue without making it work in the next one hour or so. It's like just make, you know, give it, uh, everyone can stay here and can coordinate uh, after, at the end. It shouldn't be a problem. I mean, I think it's, uh, so that's my just, I want to make it, make sure that people stay after, after the school to make sure that their sandbox is working. And normally, as I said, there are a couple of things that you have to try just to make it work, just so that the passes for the, I think I, I see now like in, in Slack also some people, it worked for them when they installed um, docker desktop some people it didn't work for them but it could be just related to your environment variable how it's set so okay just with that let's probably stay at the end those with problems okay, <clears throat> okay. um so everyone heard that 
we are having issues please remind afterwards so that you can solve the problem um did they say sorry for interrupting you please go ahead okay it is okay good morning all uh, i think uh, the problem i as a blocker the same problem i faced here and uh, that is answered already uh, we will uh, wait and uh, we will try to fix with the uh, our uh, members so that is it but for the progress i uh, am uh, actually as this idea is very new for me uh, for me so that i have uh, referred many things just to understand the basic idea before the basic idea of uh, what does it mean web3 blockchain what makes it different from the rest of web application web uh, web applications like web one web one and the web two so it is really interesting and it is really new technology uh, i understand the theoretical the fundamental concepts of web3 and uh, i am trying to set up my git but uh, the problem i faced is the same to the others uh, which is uh, represented uh, already by yabibal so i will wait for the for fixing that one next session so thank you that's all that's what i have thank you so much uh this way good morning please share with us uh what you have been doing your updates okay hello everyone good morning can you guys hear me yes okay so uh, uh yesterday after the last uh tutorial session i was not feeling well so i didn't do uh i didn't actually do anything after that session so this morning i was trying out the uh, sandbox and i felt the same uh, issue as the other so uh, i was trying to fix that until now and uh, we will fix that uh after this session i think i'm trying different uh, methods and uh, yeah that's just the plugger and I will continue working today on it. Okay, great. Uh, Jonas, please share with us um, your updates. Jonas de Dese, um, can you speak? If you can, please share your updates with us. Uh, okay, I'm not sure if he can speak or if he's having connection issues, but um, Yababal, are you going to take over now um, or with sorting out the issue that everyone's been mentioning? Um, and does anyone else on the 10 Academy team have any announcements um, or anything to add? Yeah, okay. Uh, thanks, Kerry. Um, yeah, we can. I can take over, and just basically as last time, those people with issues just 